people of Earth, my name is Allie and welcome to my video! So today I am going to be talking about Halloween because it's almost October and that means everything Halloween on this channel is going to start! Yay! Seriously guys, I'm so excited about Halloween right now, you have no idea. Like I went shopping today and I was just in awe over all of this Halloween stuff that's out because I love Halloween, it's so great! I am so excited. Also, I just want to say I'm sorry for not posting for a few weeks, that is all my fault, and I'm back! And now that Halloween's kicking off, we're gonna see videos a lot, and I'm excited! So anyway, today I am going to be discussing, like, the history of Halloween, and origins of things, and all this cool, like, legends and stuff, and it's gonna be a fun time, so if you're interested, make sure to keep watching! Okay, so to start off, it is said that the origin of Halloween was from the Celtic festival, Samhain. In Samhain, people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts uh, that were roaming around. In the 8th century, Pope Gregory III, he designed November 1st as All Saints Day to honor the saints. All Saints Day incorporated some of the methods and traditions of Samhain. The evening before All Saints Day was known as All Hallows Eve, uh, which is October 31st, which later became Halloween. Now I'm going to talk about some of the origins of the traditions that we use in Halloween today. Costumes originated from Samhain, as I said, uh, from the Celtics, which is really cool. Trick-or-treating actually came from Ireland, where the poor would go to the rich uh, in search of money uh, and food. Bonfires were a custom of Ireland where people called druids performed ritualistic ceremonies uh, and would make sacrifices to pacify their gods. <laughs> In the Middle Ages, people believed that cats were linked to evil, so that is where the superstition of black cats comes from. A broken mirror represented a soul astray from one's body. The walking underneath ladder suspicion came from back in the times when people used gallows. It was said that the spirit of the person would stand underneath the ladder of the person who just got hung. Now for some folklore. Okay, so obviously these are just some myths and folklore, so you can take them how you want. None of these are obviously completely serious facts and should be interpreted to whatever way you would like. If a candle flickers and then turns blue, it is said that there is a spirit close by, most likely in the room. If a bird is to fly through your house, it indicates important news. If it can't escape your house, it means death. If you feel a chill go up your spine, it indicates a person walking on your future grave. A person born on Halloween will have the gift of communicating with the dead. Having a bat in the house is also a sign of death. If you have a bird fly towards you, it is a sign of bad fortune. If you have an itchy palm, it indicates that fortune is coming your way, but if you itch it, you will never receive this fortune. Crows, and especially calling crows, are a very serious indicator of death approaching. Okay, now for some random facts. Orange and black are very symbolic colors of Halloween because orange represents fall harvest, and black represents darkness and death. Black lanterns came from Ireland where they would use the hollowed out pumpkins on Sam Hain with candles inside to ward away evil spirits. Tootsie Rolls were the first wrapped penny candy in America, which is really cool, I think. Pumpkins also come in white, blue, and green, so you're not necessarily stuck with an orange pumpkin for all of your jack-o'-lantern needs. The fear of Halloween is known as Sanhainophobia. The Count Dracula Society was formed in 1962 by Dr. Donald A. Reed. To this day, there are actual clubs and societies of people who truly believe that they are vampires. Okay guys, so 
that is all I'm going to discuss in this video, but be prepared for a lot more Halloween stuff because I love Halloween and I'm super excited about it. I hope you learned a lot, and if you want to know more, there's definitely more. I will leave the link to the website I've been reading off of in the description down below so you can go check it out for yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already. So while editing this, I just realized that I forgot to include the song of the week. So the song of the week this week is You're So Creepy by Ghost Town, uh, just like on my shirt. Uh, it is a very Halloween-oriented-ish song, just like many of Ghost Town's songs are. So I will leave the link to that song in the description as always, and yeah. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more, make sure you subscribe, and I will also leave another video to watch right there in that link, so go check it out. And as always, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next week. I love you guys, and I will see you all later. Bye!